Hi crafty friends, it's Chris from Daily Dose of DIY and today I'm going to show you how to heat transfer vinyl onto stuffed animals. They make the most darling personalized Christmas gifts. Let's get started. Okay, to make these adorable stuffed animals you're going to need some stuffed animals, your weeding tools, a tape measure, our heat transfer vinyl, a uh, heat pad, and I'm going to use the Cricut Mini press. You could also use a full-size heat press, but the Mini is just perfect for this job. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need to know how big we want to make our lettering, right? So it looks like I've got about two inches on the antler, and I could probably do, yeah two and a half inches for a name. You could put something on the scarf if you wanted to. There's about two inches there. So we're in, see the full name. Let's just make everything two inches. So once you get into your design software, I of course am using Cricut. I'm gonna put 2019 I think on the antler. We'll use our size. You can see at the top here that I am already at two and a half inches. We can go to the top menu where it says size and width and just change that to two. So then I want to put a name there. I'm just going to use my name for this one. And I also want it to be two inches so we can do the same thing. Go to the top, readjust it. Now that we have our name and our year ready. Actually, I think I'm going to do the name in red, so I'm going to change that color. And then we're going to go over here and click the make it button. We'll get this cut and I'm going to give you some tips on how not to screw it up. Oh, before we go any farther, actually here, let's not forget to turn on mirror. We have to turn on mirror for iron on vinyl and you have to do it for every cut mat. So select each cut mat and then turn mirror on. Then we continue and set uh, to iron on vinyl or HTV and we'll get it cut. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention in your supplies that you might want is this cutter. It is made by Cricut. HTV does not have the cut lines like um, adhesive vinyl does and I cut is about as straight as a windy river. So this really helps me not waste vinyl. Um, you have to comment down below and let me know if you cut straight or not. I definitely don't. So I'm going to line this up. I already got it marked how long I need it. And then just like that, it cuts it nice straight line for me. Now my trick for getting vinyl on the cut mat straight. I'm not even gonna tell you how much money I've wasted putting this on the wrong way. It comes with its carrier sheet. This one's not too bad. You can it's not showing if it's showing up on camera well you can kind of see the difference but I always take my weeder tool and just poke a corner and make sure I get vinyl because if you, the carrier sheet won't poke right so if I get vinyl I know for sure that way is up and I'm not wasting my time or my vinyl cutting it the wrong way to weed iron on vinyl you just want to take a corner again and stab it with your weeding tool and pull it up Oh, I stabbed all the way through. See what happens. I think I started too far away from the corner. Let's go to this corner. There we go. Once you get a piece off of that carrier sheet, you just pull it right off. Comes pretty easily. You might need to go back in with your weeding tool and get some of the bits in between and the centers of your letters. not sticky like adhesive vinyl so it's kind of hard to get to stick to your weeding tool to come off. It's more like a scraping thing. Oh come here. Once those centers of all your letters and numbers are out we're ready to press it on. Okay 
To get our little 2019 on, I'm going to go ahead and line it up on its antler. Our heat press mini is green and we're just going to go ahead and press it down, wiggle it around a little bit. It just takes a few seconds. Um, this isn't a t-shirt, it's not going to be worn a lot, it's not going to be washed a lot, so you don't really need to leave it on a long time. Plus you have the possibility that the fur may burn. That turned out pretty good. You might want to test a small spot before you go ahead and put big names on there, but these are coming out just fine. They look so cute. Let's get our name on there. And again, I'm using a firm pressure, squishing the poor little guy, but we want his name to stay on there. A few seconds, and we're going to let it cool just a little bit and peel off and the name sticks looks fabulous look at that cute little guy I think these moose are so cute I found them at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar but of course this time of year you can find cute plush just about anywhere for a reasonably good price they make adorable personalized Christmas presents too so as you can see, this is a fun and easy craft. If you enjoyed my heat transfer vinyl tips, be sure to like the video down below and of course subscribe for more fun and easy crafts.